Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, this is uh, Mwalim Abdi Nasir. Here today, uh, we are going to discuss uh, a question on solubility curve, uh, which uh, reads as uh, follows. You are provided with solid K. You are provided with solid K, uh, which is uh, 4.2, which is uh, 4.2 uh, grams accurately weighed, and this is to determine, this is to determine or to calculate, it is solubility, you know solubility is a maximum mass that can saturate in 100 grams of a solvent at a given a temperature. Therefore, you need to determine the solubility of this K in various volumes of water, in various uh, volumes of water as shown in the table uh, below, as shown in the table uh, below. So here now, we have uh, different uh, various or uh, volumes of water uh, used. So in first case, we have four cubic uh, centimeter of distilled water. We have six, eight, and so on, up to 12 uh, cubic centimeter of distilled uh, water. As you can see, there is additional uh, two cubic centimeter of water. That is from four uh, to 12, there is additional of two cubic centimeter of distilled water. Now here, we also have a column for crystallization uh, temperature in degrees uh, Celsius. That is from 72, 68, uh, down up to uh, 52. So what do you realize here? You realize that with time, the crystallization temperature will decrease from 72 to 52. And look at the volume of water. It's going to increase by two. Therefore, here you should have an idea of how your trend of solubility uh, will be. Uh, bearing in mind that solubility of a solid, solubility of a solid, solubility of a solid uh, increases with increase in temperature or it decreases with uh, decrease in temperature. What do I mean? As you increase temperature, solubility will also increase. Or as you decrease temperature, look at here down. We are required now to complete this table. You can see, you can see this table is not complete. Now, for you to complete the table, then you need to use the formula for solubility, which says, Solubility is equals to mass time is 100 cubic centimeter divided by volume of water used. Volume of water used. Volume of water used. So what do we mean? Now, if you want to calculate the first solubility, then it will be the mass you will be given, which is now for the first case is 4.2 times is 100 divided by volume of water used for this case, which is uh, 4. Therefore, uh, in calculation now, this one you are supposed to get uh, 105. So here now, it will be 4.2 times is 100 divided by 4. This one now should give you 105. Now, if you want to calculate so solubility for 6, again, you need to do, you say, 4.2 times is 100 divided by, divided by uh, 6, which will give you uh, 70. Now, the solubility for the second, for the dead one now, it will be 4.2 uh, times is 100 divided by 8, and this one will give you 52.5. Uh, 52.5. Uh, and so on and so on. That one now will give you solubility for 10. If you do the calculation now, you are supposed to get uh, a 42, and then the last one now, it will give you uh, 35. Bearing in mind 
that this is the formula you use to calculate uh, solubility. Now, once we are done with that, then now we need to plot a graph of solubility against uh, temperature. Whenever you are told plot a graph of solubility against temperature, then you should know uh, the variables that will take on y axis. Therefore, you stand where you have against. So what comes before against, then this one now will take y axis. And what comes after against, which is now for this case, is temperature, it will take uh, ax, uh, axis. Now, try to draw that graph now. Try to draw that graph you are supposed to get Oh, this is how your graph uh, should uh, uh, look like. This is how your graph should uh, uh, look like. That is, if you label the axis now, you will get solubility of K in grams per 100 grams of water. Again, it's uh, temperature, which is in degrees uh, Celsius. So you take a suitable and convenient scale, you will get a smooth curve. And this curve, as you can see, it is to the uh, right. It is a normal curve, I mean, it is a normal curve, which is to the uh, left. Now, in the other question now, we will be required now to use the graph to determine uh, solubility at different, uh, uh, solub I mean, we are required to determine or we are required to use the graph to solve or to analyze uh, some questions. Like now, let's look at this question. From the graph, from the graph, determine the solubility of solid K at temperature 65 degrees Celsius. Now, for this case, where you have 65 on the graph, you look at that, so in between here, 60 and 70, we have 65. Therefore, you, you go to your graph, where you have 65, you draw a broken line or a fault line. You draw a fault line until it touches uh, the curve. So where it will touch the curve, where it's going to touch the curve, there's now the solubility for that. So you can see it is touching here. Therefore, there uh, is what uh, will be the solubility of solid K at a temperature 65 degrees uh, Celsius. So let us uh, read this. So here we have 40, here is uh, 50, and then here we have 60. So you will come to realize that each box will represent uh, 2 grams per 100 grams of water. Therefore, this is 52. I mean, this is 50. This is uh, 52, 54, uh, 56, and this is uh, 58. Therefore, here it will be uh, the answer here it will be the answer here it will be uh, solubility when temperature is 65 it becomes uh, 68 not 68 but uh, 58 uh, grams per 100 grams of water uh, make sure you don't forget the units for solubility now what about when temperature again is uh, 58 degrees uh, Celsius. The same thing again. You do the same thing. So here is uh, 55. So from 55, you go to 56, uh, 57, uh, 58. Therefore, that is where you will have you are 58. Therefore, there you draw now a broken line until it meets the your curve. So where it touches now the curve, that's your solubility for 58 degrees uh, Celsius. So you read solubility at this, which is now here, if it is 40, then it means this is 42, 44, and this is 46. Therefore, in between there, you have 45, you have 45 uh, grams per 100 uh, grams of water. Again, you are told determine the temperature when solubility is uh, 77 grams per 100 grams of water. The same thing again, where you have where you have uh, 77 now, you go to where you have uh, 77 on your uh, graph on solubility, 
this is uh, 70, this is uh, 72, 74, 76, and this is 78. Therefore, 77 now will be, three, will be in between, it will be in between uh, 70, it will be there. So where it will touch the curve, that's what you read for uh, temperature. Therefore here, uh, temperature will be, therefore there the temperature will be 69, that is roughly it will be 69 uh, degrees uh, Celsius. It will be 69 degrees uh, Celsius. The same thing again, you will go to 42 uh, grams per 100 grams of water. Therefore, this is now uh, 40. So 42 now, it will be here. 42, it will be there. Therefore, there now, you draw a broken line until it touches uh, the calf. Therefore, it will touch the calf at this uh, point. And that temperature will be uh, 56 degrees uh, Celsius. It will be 56 degrees uh, Celsius. It will be 56 degrees Celsius. So that's now how you analyze uh, your graph uh, using some questions. Now finally the last question now uh, is uh, determine the molarity of solid K. Determine the molarity of solid K at a temperature uh, I mean determine the molarity of solid K at temperature 57 degrees Celsius. At temperature 57 degrees Celsius. Now from your graph, from your graph where you have 57 degrees Celsius, where you have 57 uh, degrees Celsius, from your graph where you have 57 degrees Celsius, you look at that uh, solubility. So here it will be 55, this is 56, and here it will be uh, 57. Therefore, this is where you have uh, 57. So where it will touch now the curve? Where it will touch the curve, that's now your solubility. That is now your solubility. Therefore, there it will be there it will be, this is now 40, this is uh, 42, 44, and here it will be uh, roughly uh, 45. So here, solubility now, solubility at 57 from the graph, at 57 degrees Celsius from the graph is uh, 45 grams per 100 grams of water. Now, the question is asking calculate molarity. The question is asking calculate molarity. So how do you calculate? The first step now that you need to do is that you say if 45 grams is contained in 100 cubic centimeter of water. Remember 100 grams of water is like saying 100 cubic centimeter of water because of uh, the density of water being one gram per cubic centimeter. So you say how many grams are in 1000 cubic centimeter. How many grams are in 1,000 uh, cubic uh, centimeter? Therefore, here it will be 45 grams times 1,000 cubic centimeter divided by 100 cubic uh, centimeter. Therefore, this one now will go to, and therefore the answer uh, should be uh, two zeros go, two zeros go. Therefore, that one now will give you, will give you uh, for 50 uh, gram per liter. It will give you for 50 uh, gram a per liter. It will give you for 50 gram per liter. Now once you have that, then you will say molarity molarity is equals to com it will be com in gram per liter com in gram per liter divided by relative formula mass. Divided by relative formula mass. Our com in gram per liter is 450. So we'll say 450 divided by relative formula mass, which you are given in the question, which was uh, 126. Therefore, it will be uh, 450 divided by uh, 126, which is equal to 
And your final answer should be a capital M, which is a, a molarity. And that will give you uh, roughly uh, 3.571 mol uh, per liter. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for your attention and uh, goodbye.